design you may want to subscribe to this channel and press the notification button press the bell and press the like button at the same time so that most people or some people that are interested in this video will be able to get it and this is the second product I actually want to you know show you and um, for you to see if it's something you'll be interested in all right so I'm going to put the link below if you are interested so check it out to see the current price on this product um, the first one that I'll we'll be talking about will be this uh, pressing ion this is what you're going to get inside of the ion with this cup and a um, couple of paperwork like so those are the things you will get and this is the box so this is the box for the ion it's called Butera is a professional steam ion so why do I want to show you this ion the reason why I'm bringing this to your notice is because if you are a sewer you need a very good ion pressing ion is going to be your best friend in your workshop and that is the main reason I'm bringing this to you okay why am I bringing it to you again is that uh, I just like the quality and how this thing press you know how it glide on fabric is the reason why I want to introduce it so if you are a sewer if you cannot because most people that are entry level into sewing business you may not be able to afford this kind of industrial iron at first it may not be ideal for you to go for all right and you know I did review on this ion before if you want to see the review just check my videos you will see where I review this ion this is reliable the industrial ion so there's a possibility this may not be uh, ideal for you when you are getting into the sewing industry or even if you are in the sewing industry already your budget may not cut this right away it's a very good ion but your budget may not cut it right away and probably you are the type you may not like the gravity feed ion those are less expensive they are under between probably $70 to $160 or $70 depend on where you are buying it that depends on where you are buying it but there's a possibility also you may not like how the cable is dangling on your ceiling just like me I like the gravity ion but I don't like you know the cable that will run the water at the same time you know it look kind of you know I, I, I'm not a fan of the gravity ion even though it's a very nice ion but if you are like me that you don't like those cables dangling around this will be a close bet for you and that is the main reason I'm bringing it to your notice this is Butera like I say it's 1800 watts ion so it's a professional ion like they said and it's computerized to set the temperature it's computerized to set temperature and if i have to show you the feature right now you have this where you push to you know dispense some water and when you open up here you have where you put your water this will take regular tap water and according to the instruction if your tap water is really hard you want to dilute it with uh, probably distilled water okay but if your tap water is not that hard you can use it directly on this steam ion okay like i say it's a steam ion very powerful there's a little bit of weight to it it's not that, that not that heavy but there's a little bit of weight to it and i like it if you are a sewer you want to have a high on that is a little bit of you know hefty it help you you don't have to press hard on your fabric that's what you want to look for if you are buying a pressing iron okay and this is one of the best that i have seen so far 
when we're talking about budget, you know, when you're talking about uh, price to quality ratio, let me put it that way. The price to quality ratio, this is the best I've come across. As for me, I don't know if there's anything better than this out there, which I believe they will be something that is better than this. But when it comes to price, this will be a very good investment for you. So, let me continue with the fishers. Like I say, you have where you have your water jet spray, and this is where you trigger it. When you trigger it, you get some water spray, all right, on your fabric. And the other side here, you have a bust system. This is not like a regular steam, it's a bust steam. And that is why I like it. Let me plug it and you will understand, all right? So when you plug the ion, it's gonna come on red. And when it's red, it means it's off, right? This side and this side is where you set the temperature. So on this side, it's going to be plus, and the other side is going to be minus. Like you have nice settings, okay? Now I plug it, it's thick code because it's red. And you have self-clean. Maybe after you are done with ironing, when you press this, you do some kind of self-clean, okay? So now, at the middle of these two, right, you have this slider, it's a slider that goes and click. That's the steam, okay? When you bring it all the way up, it's gonna release the steam continuously. So that, that means if the iron is sitting this way, the steam will stop, but the iron is going this way, like you are pressing on your fabric, the steam will be coming out continuously, but in a very slow um, rate. All right, now it's still red, so it's not gonna be hot, it's still cold. So all I have to do is to press this and it turned to blue. Now it's going to be warming up, right? And it's very fast to get really hot, all right? So let me turn it off because I wanna show you the soap plate. This is the soap plate. There's a lot of hole here that this thing will be coming out from. And this is not a stainless steel plate. I think this is a ceramic coating. And I like the ceramic coating because first thing I think um, the kind of resistance to stick, um, if you're using a um, glue gun, this is a little bit resistance to that. And they glide easily on fabric. The ceramic coating glide very easily on fabric. And uh, another thing about the ceramic coating is that I believe the heat dispensation are going to be even compared to stainless steel plate. Number two is that they glide easily on fabric. I'll turn it back on. It turned blue and that's the first setting number one. So when it's hot, like I said, let me go all the way to blend. Blend is number five. When I'm all the way to blend, on the screen, you have your settings, your fabric settings, you have the number of the fabric settings, and you have the temperature level on the screen right here. They goes in line, the higher the line, the hotter the iron will be, right? Like I said before, at the middle, between the spray jet and the bus team, you have this slider, if the slider is all the way down, it's gonna shut it off. But when you have it all the way up, like so, and it comes this way, the steam is going to be coming out. I can feel the steam right now. When you're going up and down, and you have water in the tank, the steam will be coming out like that when you're go gliding on your fabric. And um, if you want to use the bust, all you have to do is press, and it shoot out the steam, just like so. And this is the self-clean, like I said before, you press, and we'll do some self-clean. If this, you know, it help you with some residue and so forth like that, okay? So, I'm gonna turn it off. 
and now the iron is off. And you can place it this way on your table and that is how you rest the iron, all right? I've used this iron for a while. I like the way it works for me and I want to bring it to your notice probably if you want to try it out and see if it's going to work for you. For the price of this iron, which is around, it's less than 40 US dollars. And the quality of this iron will match up to that of $120 or even more. And you still get a better result from this. When you use this iron on your fabric, you'll be surprised how much this thing glides on fabric and how smooth it easily, you know, get rid of wrinkles with minimum pressure. This thing, I tried out yesterday and if you iron, you know, for example, if you're going to iron a shirt, right? When you go like two times on the sleeve, when you turn it over, the other side is already, you know, wrinkle free. Let's assume like you have a two layer of fabric that are bow wrinkle. If you place it on one another, and you press this thing with the bust on it, already it's going to take care of the first layer and the second layer. So which means it's going to cut your ironing time into half. And that is the main reason I'm introducing this iron. It's a little bit heavy, not that bad heavy, but it's a little bit heavy. Guys, I'm going to say that uh, if steam iron like this, which is industrial one, it's not in your budget, you don't like the gravity iron, I would say that you should give this a try. And let me know in the comment below, if you give this a try, let me, let me know, you know, just give me a feedback. Uh, and for your information, I don't know this company from nowhere. This is not a sponsored video. I just want my viewers to be aware of this pressing iron that they got to like it. The feature of this thing is that according to the manufacturer on this bus is that you have 90 days of refund guarantee. They're going to give you 90 days refund guarantee. Then if you register it, I think you have like five years or so. Then 24 month full warranty. Then you have 24 hours customer service on this iron. And this is what you get. It's a ceramic coated double sole plate. So you have electronic LED display, anti-drip and self-cleaning. That's what I talk about. This is the self-cleaning, right? So it's a steam burst and water spray, uh, 11.5 ounces of water tank, and that is all you get, all right? That is all you get. This is not like an advert. I'm not doing, it, doing this for an advert or anything. I'm doing it because if you're a fashion designer, if you're sewing for a business, or maybe you need a backup steam iron, I would like you to try this product. I would like you to try them out. Please try it out. And let me hear your feedback on this thing. I use it, I like it, and I don't want to keep it to myself alone. That's why I'm bringing it to you. I also want you to benefit from this, from the quality of this iron. And this is another product I want to show you. And this is not necessary for people that are doing sewing. Anybody can use this in as much as you have um, steam iron at home. This is called Easy Off. And it's in the tube, Easy Off. If your iron cut some, you know, some anything sticky on the soap plate, instead of using razor blade to scrub it off or using sandpaper this is more or less like a sandpaper and i'm going to use it on this one i purposely allow this to get dirty so that i can try this product out with you i've never used it before but i don't want to be using razor blade on the face of my iron soap plate that's why i get this product because for what i'm doing if I'm trying to apply a stay gum or things like that, the iron gets caught in the glue and it gets sticky. So I have to use bleach to take them out or resolve bleach. But for now, I want to try this product. 
This is a, a nice towel. I'm just going to put a little bit of the cream on it. Right here, this the amount I have. So, this is the iron, and I'm going to rub it on it. It's going to have some kind of smell to it. So you want to do it while the iron is hot. You see now on my iron, I have a lot of scratch, bleed scratch, or let me call it a razor scratch. There's a lot of razor scratch on my iron right now, and I don't like it. That's why I decided to get this. Uh, after you're done, just look for a clean side of the towel and uh, just rub it on it. Okay. Or to work a little bit, but not to my satisfaction. All right. I will say this product actually work a little bit, but I'm not that satisfied on the easy off. Okay. Um, can I recommend it? I don't know, but the easy off, it takes out the, you know, it takes out whatever I have on the iron, but it's leaving a mark of the tower that I use back on the iron. So I don't know. It's like it's taking care of a problem and leaving another problem. So um, remove starch, scotch, soy, and foreign residue from all hot metal ionic service. I will not be, I'm not satisfied with this product. So I don't know. If you want to try it out, the link will be below. But personally, I'm not satisfied with the results. So I will try another thing, another product X. And whatever I see that work for me, I will bring it to your notice. All right, guys. But for this, I'm not satisfied. Maybe if I try again and it will work, I will let you know and I'm going to search for another product that will work and I will let you know. Alright guys, so that will be my time for today and um, that's the Ion Butura. Check it out if it's something you are interested in and uh, if you find this video informative, what I really want you to do for me right now is that if you are not yet subscribed, please do subscribe to this video. Uh, Kindly press the notification button or anytime I post a new video, you'll be able to be aware that I have video that newly posted. Who knows, it may be something that will interest you. And at the same time, if you see any benefit from this video, please press the like button. By so doing, it will reach another people that will be interested in this iron. Please just press the like button. That will go a long way, right guys? And that will be my time, like I said, until next time that I will be bringing you another video. Stay blessed, remain blessed, keep the sewing going. Bye bye for now, guys.